What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610 and today I thought I would go over some of the different cameras that I use and stuff and how I am able to create uh, my Yu-Gi-Oh! show, I guess, really. <laughs> I saw that Galactic God did something similar to this, of course I want to give a shout out to him, and so I thought I would do something as well, kind of showing different cameras I use. I, I get these questions a lot, different software, and kind of my setup that I have for this. First is the setup I have out here. This is actually a storage room <laughs> that I do all this in, as you can tell. Green screen. All of it, you know, as you can probably see, because I'm wearing green on me, I don't know if that was going to edit well or not, so you don't want to wear green on you, of course. But yes, I was able to get a green screen, lights, and all this stuff. Not terrible, I guess. They're not necessarily too cheap. I'll show the lights here in a second. Uh, right now, though, I'll show the different cameras that I've been through. I'm not like other Yu-Gi-Oh! or YouTube people where I start off with my cell phone. I know Galactic God said he did. It took me forever. I just now got actually a good cell phone. I have like a new iPhone finally. I, I used to have like, especially when I first started, I had like a regular flip phone and I've had that for like ever. And just now I have a smartphone really. Uh, what I started with is actually a regular digital camera. You can see it is like nothing by today's standards. I mean, it's not that great as you can kind of tell. But yeah, I'll have links to all the cameras I'll be showing to in the description. If I can find them like on Amazon and stuff, I'll have links to them. Uh, I don't know if you really want to link to this though, because hey, you don't want to start out with this. I remember, I can only record 10 minutes of footage. So pack openings had to be quick. That's the reason I, I talk faster, I think, in my videos too, than normal. Because I'm a Texan, so of course we talk slower, <laughs> usually. But I've kind of gotten a little bit used to talking faster because of that. And I remember I've used this a lot. I would even, I even had like a smaller tripod to use uh, for this because it has like a tripod mount stuff, which you always want to look for that. Especially if you end up doing pack openings, you want to have a tripod. Doesn't matter, it's just any kind or like a bunch of books to like stack the camera on, something. That, I mean, that's just uh, a must. Or if you have a camera person, I guess. After that, I ended up going with a flip camera. Whenever these are really popular. Yeah, I have an older flip camera, it's HD. It's so whenever the HD stuff really started, and I started uh, making my videos in HD. Uh, it's alright. It was alright price. I think they were like 70 back then. I'm sure they're cheaper now. I think Flip is gone now, though. I don't think they even make new ones, so you might be able to find an old one. Uh, again, not really one I suggest. I'm just kind of showing what I use, because uh, I don't think it's in full screen. So you, you would have, you know, the little bars on both sides with this nowadays. Uh, it was still a good option to have back then, and it's more of like the handy cams, which is great for somebody that's just starting out. You know, you, you probably want to go with like a handy cam sort of thing instead of an actual camcorder, like I'm using right now. I'm using an actual camcorder. After that, I end up switching to probably my last of the handy cam like things to this one. It is a uh, let's see, uh, Zactic, Zacti. I don't know how you say it. X A C T I. Uh, like I said, I have it on the description. Anyway, it's one of the cameras where you can see you're still filming and everything. I can also turn it and do, and I start doing more videos like this where I'm talking to the camera. A lot easier to do. It's pretty simple. It, you know, you can hold it sort of like that and you're able to uh, record and everything. It's pretty nice. I gotta say, it's an alright camera for that. Bad part is, it doesn't focus as much on certain things, so for pack openings I had to upgrade even further. But, for somebody that's just starting, this is a pretty good type of camera to go with. If you want, you want to go with more of like a handy cam because they're cheaper, you know, and uh, it's just kind of pretty good for a beginner. After that, I ended up started going with the, of course, the whole camcorder thing, where it's a little bit better. Of course, the quality increases dramatically, and it's a little bit better for somebody who's more intermediate. Like, you've done this for a while, maybe you know, six months to a year, you're getting good views or something, and you want to upgrade, you want to provide better quality. This is a Panasonic camera that I have. This is one I used for a pretty good while, too. About I used my cameras for about a year or so, it seems like. This one's about two years, I think, now that I'm using it at the moment. And uh, this one was good, too, because you could turn it, and you could uh, see what you're doing as well. And it's just, it's basically like the other ones, just higher quality. I mean, it's just that simple. Of course, just like all the others, you always want to get a tripod. Especially if you're going to do pack openings like me, you got to get a tripod. The camera I'm using right now is a Canon Vixia. I can't really show it because I'm on camera. I'll have a link to it like in the description. I might even have like a picture or something that will appear. This is the one I'm using right now. It's good and I do really recommend it, but the battery sucks. The battery really sucks on this thing. I mean, it's, it's alright at the beginning, but I've had it for a little over a year now and it will only last for about 30 minutes. That's not too great. You know, and I'm going at higher settings too, so I get that, but it's not too great on that. So if you're going to get one like this, uh, expect to have it plugged in sometimes when you're doing videos, or uh, buy an extra battery. On software, I'm actually going to show you the box of the software I have. For my Yu-Gi-Oh! News videos, I record the screen. I get a lot of questions on this. At first, I use Cam Studio. It's a free program. You can try it out. Of course, I suggest it highly if you, you know, of course, you don't want to spend the money. 
But if you're wanting to upgrade and go for something that is, it costs money, but it you're getting your money's worth, I would say Camtasia Studio. Uh, I actually got the box copy of it too. You can get digital and box. I, I got them both. It was like ten bucks extra to get the to get the actual copy, so I went ahead and did that. Uh, and yeah, I gotta say it's it's worth it. I even use it to on my videos like this to compress them down. It doesn't hurt the quality and compress them down because my internet connection where I live isn't that great, so it helps out with that. My main editing software though is Sony Vegas uh, Platinum Suite, which is the main thing that I use for like everything. I use everything except for videos that I record on my screen. I use Camtasia just for that, but this is for pack openings, videos we're doing now, that kind of stuff is this. Uh, it's not too bad on price. I think I got it for about $60. I mean, it's worth it. There is a cheaper version that's like 10 bucks. I think it's like a, a year older or something or a couple years older version of this. It's, it's pink and I'll have a link to that. I'll try to remember to have a link to that one as well because that's the first uh, type of uh, software I had for this. And I gotta say it's worth it. And uh, I'll have a link to it in the description, but yeah, it, it helps with videos. You can do a lot more. You can do green screens with it. You can do a lot of stuff. It, it's still cheaper. Of course, there are better options. But even where I'm at right now, I don't care to spend, of course, like hundreds of dollars or thousands to get better software because this is pretty much what you need. For, for what I do and what I'm sure a lot of you will plan on doing, this is pretty much what you're going to need. Now, talking about tripods, tripods aren't too bad. I ended up spending like $30 on this one, and it's pretty old. As you can see too, I have an attachment for it where I can place my iPad in it. And I use it now for like scripts and stuff if I'm reading off certain things. Like sometimes I write a script for myself, I don't do that very often. Or uh, as you can probably tell from, <laughs> from my videos, I, I don't really like write scripts. I usually have like monster effects or notes and stuff. And you can tell right here, I have it right in front of me. I can kind of look down at it, which I'm still not too great at doing that. You know, I don't do enough of it where I can like read it and still look at the camera. Because of course you always want to look at the camera. Uh, but I'm able to have all that info just right there in front of me. So all I gotta do is have like two tripods, one that I'm using right there, and uh, then of course this one I'm reading. So yeah, as you can see behind me, this is another thing too. If you don't have a green screen, it's always great to have something uh, behind you where people can kind of look at. They have, you know, especially relating to what you're talking about, like Yu-Gi-Oh, for example. I have uh, primarily Yu-Gi-Oh stuff on here. And it's just kind of something for them to look at. Kind of gives a little bit extra something in the background. Instead of just having like a plain background, uh, like I said. For this though, this doesn't really matter if you're doing like pack openings like what I started out doing and what I normally do is uh, you at least want to have like a play mat. You don't have to have a high dollar play mat, just kind of something, even if you make it yourself. It's kind of the same idea. It gives something to look at and it's just kind of something extra for the video. Now on this too, if you want some advice too, since this is kind of a how to get started advice thing uh, on what videos to make, I get this question a lot too. On what videos to make, make whatever you want to see. That's what I did. I, I did that like five years ago or so, where I was like, you know, nobody does Yu-Gi-Oh news. And back then, I don't think there was any Yu-Gi-Oh news stuff. Uh, nobody really talks about the archetypes. And, no, and there were many pack openings when I first started. And uh, I mean, like hardly at all. I don't remember seeing hardly any. And so I did that. And I remember doing a lot of that. And uh, like I said, there were a few other people, but I remember that's what I wanted to see. So I was like, you know what? I want to make those types of videos. I want to make the videos I want to see. and. Uh, evidently others wanted to see that as well. So yeah, uh, that's basically the best advice I can give for that, honestly. Just kind of do what you want to do, have fun with it. It's kind of cheesy advice, I know, but it honestly works. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, of course, tell me, you know, ask me in the comments, whatever, and uh, or send a message. I'll try to have all the info, like I said, in the description too, like links to stuff. But I really got to suggest uh, if you want something a little bit more serious, especially for pack openings, go for a regular camcorder. But if you're just trying to do more like vlog style and stuff and uh, you don't really care about it focusing in on the card too much, a handy cam sort of thing will work. And maybe even your cell phone will work. As always, though, thank you for watching. Remember to come here and subscribe. And I hope to see uh, plenty of other YouTubers out there doing really well. All right. Later, guys.